Welcome to another monthly product update video where we're bringing you the latest and greatest updates from HubSpot. This month we've got a bunch for you, so let's dive right in. First up is LinkedIn CRM Sync. This is a bi-directional sync between HubSpot and LinkedIn Sales Navigator, built by the same team that brought you Data Sync, and it unlocks a bunch of powerful features inside of Sales Navigator. Let's take a look. So here I am on a leads list inside of LinkedIn Sales Navigator, and I can see that these leads have been synced to my CRM. And the thing that's really great about this is if their LinkedIn information changes, for example, if they get a new job title or they move to a different company, this will be flagged and I can push that new information into my CRM to make sure it's up to date. Meanwhile, in HubSpot, if we go to a contact record, we can see LinkedIn Sales Navigator information here. We can send an email from right inside of HubSpot, and if we click this View More button, we're given potential icebreakers, we can see contacts who might be able to introduce us to this person, and we can also look at related leads. And if we hop over to a company record, there's a Sales Navigator card here as well, where we can find good contacts at the company, see the connections we already have, and read news about the company. And for both contacts and companies, there's this Save in Sales Navigator button so you can add records from HubSpot into Sales Navigator. Next up, the meeting scheduling tool now respects users working hours. Let me show you what I mean. So here I am looking at users inside of HubSpot, and if I click into an individual user and come to their preferences, here is an area where they can set up their working hours. And if it's different for each day, they can set that up here to say the hours that they're in the office. So if I come over to that user's meeting scheduling pages, I can edit one of them and come to the scheduling tab and have it consider their working hours. I turn on this toggle switch and now the scheduling link itself still has its own hours when it is available to book things for. But if those hours fall outside of the user's working hours, those will no longer show as available if this is turned on. Next up, individual campaigns now show you a timeline of changes that have been made to them. Check it out. So here I am on my campaigns page and if I click into one of these, there's this new activity tab that I can click into and see all the changes that were made to it, when they happened, and who made them. This is going to be really powerful to help you understand how your campaigns are changing over time and who has been working on them. Our next update is in regards to knowledge bases. If you create a new knowledge base, you're going to see a whole bunch of customization tools that haven't been there before. For those of you who are already using knowledge bases, we don't yet have the ability to apply this customization to existing knowledge bases, but that will be coming soon. Still, take a look at all these things you can now do that you couldn't do before. So here I am in an account that has never had a knowledge base before, and I'm gonna set up a new knowledge base. Now these customization options are in beta, and so they are optional. If you would rather not use them, you can say no thanks, but take a look at what you get if you opt into the beta. First we need to give it a name, nothing new here. Select a language and a domain, click next. And now look, we have all these different templates you can use to give your knowledge base the look and feel you want. Whether that's content rich or cards based, select the one that you like and then click next. And in this step you can select different categories for your knowledge base articles. We recommend choosing at least six and I'll just stick with the six default ones here. And now we have a knowledge base, but before we click done, check out this little link. It's not calling a lot of attention to itself, but there's now a theme editor where you can make style changes to your knowledge base. So if we click on that, so here we are in this theme editor where you can alter the template to match your overall branding. And check out the options you have in here. If you want to change the colors to match your brand, you can absolutely do that. If you want to change the typefaces, we have a lot of options in here. Or you can choose a Google font or upload your own custom font to get your knowledge base looking like the rest of your website. We have a lot of different options in here. I definitely encourage you to check them out and explore the way you can make your knowledge base match your brand identity. Next up, you can now generate reports inside of HubSpot using a Check this out. So here I am in the report section of HubSpot. I click create report and in this area where you can select one of our standard reports or choose to build one, we now have this AI assistant. And you can come in here and just using normal text, explain what you want in a chart and it will build it for you. If you're not sure where to get started, you can choose one of the sample prompts, drop it in there and click generate. It thinks for a minute and then you get a report that hopefully gives you the information you're looking for. You can see the details of the report here. You can edit your prompt if you would like and you can give it feedback to help it get smarter over time. This is gonna save you a lot of time when you're building reports. No more hunting around for data sources. Just tell the AI what you want and it'll build it for you. Our final update relates to commerce. You can now edit open invoices. Check this out. So here I am looking at my invoices and if I open up one that has a status of open and come to the actions dropdown, there is now an option to edit this invoice. Now this can only be done to invoices that have not already received a payment and it is permission protected so you can restrict which users have ability to edit open invoices. But this will open 
opens up a lot of opportunities and flexibility for teams who need it. That's all the updates we have for you this month. Come back next month when we'll have some more updates for you. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more videos like this one.